Hi, I'm Aris. And this is my girlfriend Frederica. And we just spent 10 days driving around beautiful Iceland and camping in our roof tent. Or at least that was planned. Today, my girlfriend and I are embarking in something completely unknown to the both of us. Camping. But not just your regular camping, no. Camping in a roof tent during a road trip in Iceland. After picking up the car and some food for the next couple of days, we had to choose our route. So we checked the weather forecast and it seemed that there was going to be some rain in the south. We therefore decided to head north first instead. Only a couple of hours into our road trip and we had already witnessed so much raw nature that I often forgot to pick up my camera and film. I haven't really taken the time to vlog or think even about what I want to film because I'm just taking everything in. We're just, oh, we're just awed about what everything we're seeing. It's incredible. It's just another planet. It's just Iceland is just another planet. So day one on the road is coming to an end and we just found our first campsite. Federica is installing our roof tent. We found really a great spot. I think it's 10 euros per person uh, a night. So it's going to be about 20 for us to then uh, facil there's facilities, bathroom, everything. Kind of exhausted. We've been driving since 11. It's now 9. Uh, but wow, full of, full of uh, mental energy. Now, why did we decide to camp during our road trip instead of just booking an Airbnb or an hotel? Well, the first reason was purely financial, but the second reason was also to keep a certain freedom during the trip. Iceland has tons of campsites with all the necessary facilities and they don't even require a booking. We were a bit scared of our first night in the tent because Iceland can be very windy. A very cozy tent. Let's go. Let's see how, how warm this stays at night. All right. That's day one done. We're exhausted. We didn't sleep much last night. Right now it's time to test our tent. Have hopefully a good night's sleep because what's waiting for us tomorrow is just insane. All right, good night. Morning one was a success. Woke up a couple of times because of some bird noises but for the rest amazing we didn't have any wind we didn't have any rain and this is what we wake up to so absolutely well rested for an incredible day that's waiting for us today let's go we had planned something amazing for day two whale watching that has always been something I really wanted to do and witness our planet's most incredible creatures with my own eyes. There was just one problem. I get seasick, like really, really seasick. And despite taking a pill, what was supposed to be a highlight during our road trip had turned out to be four hours of hell for me. Luckily, Frederica was able to enjoy the show and snap a couple of videos on her phone. Once we were back on land and I had time to recuperate, we went back on the road to continue our way around the country and stopping anywhere we wanted. heated swimming pool and when I say heated I mean like a bath hot swimming pool absolutely incredible to finish this day and I have time to sleep see you tomorrow for the next two days we discovered a less popular part of the country the north we found ourselves in some thick mist and muddy roads under waterfalls and on top of mountains created by volcanic activities decades ago What's your first impression? Crazy, crazy big, absolutely insane. Uh, trying to understand what was here before, what created this, we should probably have done some research before. <laughs> uh, yeah, insane, insane. 
We continued our journey from campsite to campsite, enjoying easy prep meals in the most phenomenal sceneries. There was a real sense of freedom, because we could just continue driving wherever we wanted and just find a last minute campsite without having to book anything. Night number three, still in our tent, lovely place in terms of views, beautiful camping but no facilities, uh, no kitchen, uh, bathroom locked, so yeah. Not much to say about this camping. So we're just gonna sleep at tomorrow morning, early morning on the road again. See ya. Wow. It is fair to say that all of our senses were consistently triggered. <laughs> some landscapes were so majestic that we had to take some height to enjoy its true magnitude. Mm -hmm. Although we had enjoyed some very decent weather conditions overall, sometimes we had to take cover and wait out the rain. But what was waiting for us after the clouds was well worth our patience. It's the end of the day and I have to whisper because we had a crazy, crazy spot right now with hundreds or thousands of puffins. It's incredible. The person that keeps telling me that I spent too much money on my gear didn't want to give my camera back. No. As we started with day 5, we started noticing that we were getting tired of living out of the car. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world. We always have to depend on so many facilities in different campsites. The last campsite didn't even have a working shower. So we were starting to get tired and the bad weather on day five didn't help with that mood. But we just powered through, drove, I don't know how many kilometers in one day, eight hours later, and we arrived at the most beautiful sunset, at the most beautiful place in all of Iceland. Originally a spot only for tomorrow, but we were here right at sunset. I mean, look at this. It's the first time we see sun in the whole trip, and it's just at the best spot we could have hoped for. <sighs> wow. It's just magical. Incredible. We spent many hours staring magical. at these huge pieces of ice floating in freezing cold water during the most beautiful sunset we had seen during this whole trip. And it was now time to find our next campsite. We had just spent one of the best nights of this whole trip. Probably just because we were so exhausted, but also because the weather conditions that night were just perfect. What we did not know is that this was going to be our last good night's sleep in our tent. The plan for the day was a simple one. 
try to get as close to the glacier as possible and touch some ice. So we booked ourselves a boat tour on one of the glacier lagoons and got very close to one of the biggest can flip anytime and anything. Ski tools, so you actually... And what I do now... Do you think the glacier will ever fully disappear? <laughs> We then finished the day by making ourselves some hot dogs and returned to the same campsite for what was going to be a rough night. So last night was very rough. Uh, we had terrible weather in the tent and um, Despite us facing the right direction, like against the wind, etc., everything got soaking wet. We didn't sleep much, and it wasn't it wasn't looking great for the rest of the camping. At that point, we weren't feeling confident in camping another day or even two days um, under this type of weather, and it looked like the forecast was giving us exactly that kind of weather for, for today. So they announced that we weren't going to have any kind of sunlight. It was going to keep raining the whole day. So we wouldn't even be able to dry our tent and sleeping bags. But right now it's sunny and we feel stupid because we just booked a couple of hours ago two nights at the hotel because we thought we weren't going to be able to camp. So yeah, we feel a bit stupid now. But just 24 hours later, this will turn out to be the best decision we could have ever made. We were on an expedition trying to find the airplane wreck that crashed on the black sand beaches of Iceland in the 1980s. After one hour of hiking, we finally found it. I had a chance to fly my drone, take all the footage I wanted, all the photos I wanted, and just five minutes after landing my drone, a huge gust of wind and storm hit us. We just got back in the car. We really, really feared for our life. That windstorm came out of nowhere. I mean, it was a bit windy, I think 15 kilometers per hour wind, a bit rainy. We knew that all was fine. We were walking very easily. And all of a sudden, a huge gust of wind, we think 15 kilometers per hour or more, hit us hard. And we're in the middle of nowhere and we have 45 minutes to walk. We, we actually got scared there. And uh, there were two other people with us. But we kind of stay behind, so we're waiting in the car to make sure that we're safe and back in their car. And then we go back home, take a hot shower. Oh my god, so glad we're not camping tonight. So our camping adventure ended sooner than we thought. And although we missed our little tent and the freedom that came with it, it did feel nice to have our own bathroom and a warm big bed to finish the last kilometers of our road trip. Not bad for a first camping experience. <laughs>